Hello and welcome to episode one of the Enzo Project. In this episode, we're going to show the first stage of the transformation, the washing and inspection process. Here, we're pre-rinsing the car using a high volume, medium pressure jet wash. It contains a pre-rinse detergent to help loosen and remove contaminants. Snow foam is not necessary in this case because it is very mild. We only use snow foam when we want to save the last stage product, the wax or the coating. Using the famous two bucket method, which reduces the risk of adding more swirls. We'll not go into too much detail right now, but if you want to know more about the subject, there's a guide you can download from our website. The link is in the description. We'll also cover proper washing and drying techniques in other videos. Here we are simply cleaning off the car so we can inspect the condition of the bodywork and painted surfaces, which we'll do once the car is dried off and moved inside the workshop. When we remove paint films, we use a heat source to help soften and melt the glue, without melting the film itself. We often find these heavy defects underneath. We suspect this is due to the incorrect cleaning and prep work from before the film was applied. One of the worst areas of the car we noticed was around the keyhole. This is due to the car not having central locking, probably to save weight. Another bad area on the vehicle was the lower half around the fuel filler flap. This is due to fuel spillage. Unfortunately, Fuel removes any protective coatings. Going round to the back of the vehicle, you can see there are more swirls and scratches. The light source we use that highlights these imperfections is called a colour checker, made by 3M. Without getting too technical, this is the closest you can get to sunlight in your hands, and sunlight is the best for showing up defects. By lifting the door and inspecting with the light, we reveal imperfections along the bottom half. This car gets used regularly. It's not a garage queen, as can be seen by the stone chips. Some of the defects you can see are standard swirling but we also found evidence of poor preparation, staining and sanding marks that haven't been machine polished correctly. Even on the inside of the door, we noticed evidence of DA sanding marks from the factory. It's great to see this Enzo is being well used. To get the vehicle ready, one of the first things we do is remove all the components that are not part of the paint process. This includes enamel badges, tail lights and even the headlights. Components like the mirror, front spoiler and rear spoiler will be painted separately. Thanks for watching episode one. We still have a lot of work to show you, so please keep following the Enzo project here on KDS Keltec TV.